Hello, today I'm going to show you how to manage add-ons on the Internet Explorer. Um, sometimes when we install certain programs, they'll install certain add-on programs that will affect our way of browsing in the Internet Explorer. Um, one example I could give is that when I used to do a search on Google, like let's say pesticide, um, before there was an add-on that would automatically, when I would try to link, click on any of the links here, it would send me somewhere else, like an about add-on, and then it would send me to some clickster page, and it was very annoying. So I came to discover that it was an add-on on top of a program that was installed. There was also an add-on that was doing that in my Internet Explorer. So by add-on, like I said, it's a program that when you install something else, it's added on with it it's for you to disable these types of programs you have to go right here in the corner to tools or settings and you're gonna manage add-ons so from the first selections right there toolbars and extension you're gonna see that it's gonna show all the add-ons in your system like I said before I was having an issue and I disabled every add-on that publisher would not be verified or that I wouldn't recognize um, certain publishers like Adobe or Microsoft I would trust but even certain Microsoft ones I disabled them just because like I wasn't using the bin bar I wasn't using the Windows Life ID sign and helper so those were disabled now in this case let me show you how to disable one of them this sent to OneNote I really don't use it that much so let me disable it um, all you have to do is just click on it like I did before right and uh, here in the bottom just click on disable right now there's a related item that wants to be disabled at the same time you can either choose to or not to, to do it I'm just gonna disable it because I really don't care I don't use these two programs um, and that's it in case you see that when you disable it you caused some type of issue running on your Internet Explorer then all you have to do is just enable it again it's the same method you would once you would close go back to your tools or settings and manage add-ons and just re-enable them enable in this case again this one is linked to this one do you want to also enable it sure enable it and that's it hope this helps you out if you have any questions let me know